Hello there guys and welcome to our first Linux video in this Linux tutorial series. In this Linux tutorial series you will learn the fundamentals of the Linux operating system as well as the day-to-day -day commands that you will use on the Linux command line. And before I begin with the content of this video, I first of all wanted to introduce myself. So my name is Mislav Juric, I come from Croatia and at the point of recording of this video, I am enrolled in a computer science master's degree program. I have also previously worked as a software engineer and have a very big interest in artificial intelligence. So now I wanted to dig deeper into the reasons why I wanted to do this Linux tutorial series. So basically, uh, when I was a young child and I started using computers, I was using Microsoft Windows on those computers and I wasn't even considering using Linux. Then when I started programming and I became interested in programming at about 13 or 14, one of my friends who was using Linux was pushing me to start to use Linux. And I actually did use Linux for maybe a couple of times, but then I would always switch back to Windows because Linux was simply not, uh, not really uh, that easy to use as Windows. However, uh, I think in 2018 or something like that, I actually had to switch from my desktop computer to my laptop and my laptop was significantly weaker in terms of hardware than my desktop computer. And then I decided, okay, it would be a really good time to switch to Linux because I heard that Linux was less resource intensive than was Windows. And so I switched to Linux and I was using Linux from that point up, to, up until this point. However, when I did switch to Linux, I was using mostly the graphical user interface. And by the way, that's completely fine. Using the graphical user interface, in my opinion, is completely fine because it simply eases things, right? You see, you can actually click on certain things and you can see what you are doing. However, the problem was that for some things, the graphical user interface didn't exist and I would have to use the command line. And for those purposes, I had to Google and I had to follow a tutorial, which is also completely fine. So Googling and following a tutorial is also completely fine. However, the problem was that I didn't have the context on what I was doing. So somebody could tell me to modify some system file and I didn't really understand what I was doing. I mean, I did understand some of the basic commands. However, all of these other stuff, I really wasn't sure about what was happening. And I always kind of told, my, told to myself, well, you know, I'm going to learn Linux but it was always on my to-do list and it had a very low prior priority until uh, at one point I bought a new laptop. And uh, the tipping point where I really decided, okay, this is where I need to learn Linux was when I, uh, when I was setting up a new laptop and my touchpad wasn't working. So basically uh, I thought that it was the device driver's fault and I spent a lot of time Googling around, trying to find the solution, how to enable my touchpad it turned out that the touchpad wasn't the issue, but that I actually forgot to enable the touchpad via the hardware buttons, uh, pressing the FN button and the F7 button. However, it was really frustrating. I ended up reinstalling my Debian operating system five or six times on this new computer. And that's when I decided this is really the time where I need to learn uh, how Linux works. Also, at that time, I got my software engineering job and on that job, I was using Linux as my operating system. So what did I do? I read three books on Linux. Two of them I have with me. One of them is available for free on the internet. So the books that I had, and I have them right here. The first one is How Linux Works by Brian Ward, which is right here. And the second one is The Linux Pocket Guide by Daniel J. Barrett. And I hope you, you could see uh, the covers of these books. If not, you can uh, most likely find them, find them in the uh, video description. Uh, the third book, which is available online for free on the, on the internet, is the Linux Command Line 5th Internet Edition by William Schatz. And basically, I read through those books and I really think I got a, a sense of what Linux is all about and I got the big picture view of the Linux operating system. And 
at this point, I really understand the basic commands. And I mean, I understand more than the basic commands because I read through the books. I actually understand a lot of these things. And at this point, I decide, okay, maybe it would be a good reason to record this video series. And here are the reasons why I decided to record this video series. So the first reason is that this video series paints or this tutorial series paints the bigger picture. And what I mean by that is I assimilated the knowledge from, more of the, from all of those three books and actually painted the big picture of the Linux operating system. The second thing why I think this course is, is a really good uh, tutorial series is because it focuses on the fundamentals, okay? And uh, these books are amazing. I actually recommend that you read them. However, I, I found myself not using a lot of the material that I learned from those books in my software engineering job as well as in my day-to-day -day life. So what I decided to do is I decided to call away all of the things that I didn't use and just focus on the fundamental things that I did use in my day-to-day -day life, in my software engineering job, and basically just gloss over everything else. The third reason why I decided to make this course and by the way, my notes are down there, so that's why I'm looking down there, is because it saves time. So again, you won't have to read through those books, and if you have time, definitely do read through those books. They're amazing. However, it will save you time uh, if, you are, uh, if you are kind of um, short on time and you just want the fundamentals. And again, if you ever want to upgrade, you can always uh, read those books to really kind of see some of the topics that I maybe glossed over, or as I suggest in this tutorial series, you can always Google the things which you are more interested in. Sort of that's the cheaper variant than buying the books and reading them. Um, the fourth thing is that I actually reference and uh, quote, or I actually have citations for every single one of my tutorials. So in the video description, you will actually find the resources where I pulled the information uh, that I presented in the tutorial from, so that you can actually double check the information source if you ever want to. And I also think this adds an additional layer of quality to the content itself, because a lot of the tutorials maybe you're unsure, like where did this guy get his information? Is this information accurate? At least I referenced the sources where I got my information from, so you can be certain that I got them from a legitimate source. And you can actually go to the source to look at that information yourself. And the final thing is that I also included some bits of computer science theory to deepen your understanding. Because I think that to understand Linux, you really need to understand operating systems. And also you need to understand some other things related to computer science. And so these theoretical tidbits are scattered around the, uh, the, this uh, Linux tutorial series uh, to deepen your understanding of the Linux operating system. Because once you understand those theoretical tidbits, you actually have a much deeper understanding of the Linux operating system itself. Okay, so those are some of the reasons why I decided to do this course and why I think this course is maybe different from some other courses. Now, who is this uh, tutorial series for or who is this course for? This tutorial series is for software engineers primarily and primarily for people transitioning from Windows to Linux. So software engineers and people transitioning from Windows to Linux are the two types of people that will benefit the most from this course. However, other people uh, who will benefit from this course, but maybe not as much, are system administrators, information security experts, and everybody else who is curious. Okay, so you will definitely also get a lot of value from this, but the audience that will get the, the most value are going to be software engineers and people who, tr who are trying to transition from Windows to Linux or who are trying to uh, sort of uh, maybe maybe even use Linux for the first time as their first operating system ever. Okay, maybe even those people will benefit tremendously from this uh, video series. Okay, and so I also want to say that this uh, tutorial series is structured like any other tutorial series. Uh, so basically that means I present the material, but what I also did is I included what is called the recaps and checkpoints. So recaps are basically reviews of what we have done in this section of the uh, content uh, of the uh, Linux tutorial series, sort of to go through everything again, just to make sure we understand the main points. And then comes the checkpoint. And the checkpoint is actually the video where I motivate 
the upcoming sections of the Linux tutorial series so that you are actually motivated as to why should you learn uh, those things that are coming up. Also, I emphasize the important points on which you should really focus on. And before I end this, uh, I just wanted to say that I am by no means a Linux expert, okay? Don't expect this uh, to be like some really ultra advanced Linux course. As I said, this course is aimed at the fundamentals so that if you ever need to, you can upgrade your knowledge. And honestly, I think that my career as a computer scientist, as a software engineer, as a machine learning engineer, maybe even machine learning researcher, uh, hasn't even started. And actually, this is sort of like my brain dump at this point of what I know about Linux. Obviously, Linux is, is an incredibly vast topic. It's an incredibly deep topic. There are a lot of resources, and I just try to cover what I personally deem as somebody who worked as a software engineer, as somebody who's using Linux in his day-to-day -day life, what I deem are the fundamentals, okay? You'll definitely get a lot of value out of this course, but I just wanted to emphasize that I'm not a Linux expert by any means, and yeah, I just kind of wanted to put it out there. And finally, I just want to invite you to engage with me. Even though I pre-recorded all of the content so that I can consistently publish it, I also want you to engage with me, to leave me comments, to leave me feedback, because I will read through the comments and uh, I just want to know, like, how did I do? Do you think this is awesome? Do you think this is bad? Do you think this is amazing? Do you think that this is subpar? Just leave me your comments and I will definitely read through them. And yeah, I just invite you to engage with me uh, because uh, I, I would really like to get feedback on this uh, Linux tutorial series, okay? So with this, I would like to end this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll watch additional tutorials which will come out. And that's it for this video. Talk soon.